Channel 2S is brought to you by New Type HQ. Get your kits and supplies at the link in the description below. Guys, 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 guys. This. Okay, so it's like 8.30ish right now. I think this got announced a couple hours ago. I didn't see it because I spent the whole evening editing a different video that was supposed to go up tonight. But this is way more important because, guys, we got some Gumpla news tonight. Like some big, big big juicy Gumpla news. I've seen pictures, I know what it is, I've seen a little bit of it, everything I've seen about this I love so far, but I haven't seen the official promo video and I haven't gone to the official Bandai webpage for it at all because I am just so excited. I literally just heard about this and I dropped literally everything that I was doing when I heard about this because this literally is the coolest kit of 2022, hands down, period, full stop, no exceptions, no questions, no nothing. This is it. This is the best Gunpla we are going to get in 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Think about how long the development for this model had to be. This is an insanely complicated kit. They had to have been working on this thing for well over a year. And to just drop it out of nowhere just a few months before its release. Wow. I was literally thinking earlier today about how disappointing it was that we really didn't get any really seriously interesting Gunpla news for pretty much the entire month of February. But this completely, completely makes up for it. I am so happy right now. And actually, wait a minute, worldwide full-scale release. I think that means they're going to do what they did with the Master Grid Barbatos, where they're going to release this everywhere at the same time worldwide. So this is going to be like a synchronized international release. That is so freaking cool. I love it when they do that. It's kind of annoying for them probably because they have to delay stuff in Japan to release at the same time as like other countries like the US and whatnot. But man... It's so satisfying to be able to crack open a brand new kit with all the other Gunpla builders around the world instead of everyone being staggered by weeks and months and getting the kits at different times. It's so awkward and weird. I love it when we can just all crack into a new kit at the same time and just enjoy the awesome experience of building a new model. All right, guys, so here we are on the official website for the Mastery at Extreme Strike Freedom. The presentation here is awesome. The kit is awesome. I can't remember if I've said this yet, but I've always really wanted like a cool kit of the Strike Freedom. I've always liked the Strike Freedom as a design, but I've never really 100% liked any of the models of it. Like, for example, the High Grade. It's a nice kit. I think it's a good model in general. It does an okay job of, like, making the Strike Freedom look like it does in the anime, but it just doesn't have that extra oomph. You know, the Master Grade, again, does a really good job of looking like the Strike Freedom in the anime, and it's a pretty good kit overall, but it just doesn't have that extra kick to it. Even the Perfect Grade, while definitely more detailed than the Master Grade, I don't know. Something about it just never really sat right with me. It just felt just a little bit under detail, but man, this thing right here, this is my Strike Freedom. This is the Strike Freedom that I have always wanted. I am so happy that 2022 is the year it finally becomes a reality. Extreme points. Oh, they're giving you like a, like a JoJo stand, stand stat specs thing to like show you all its stuff. It's got extreme gimmicks, it's got extreme style and internal structure and action and Okay, well, I don't know what this point is here, but it sure doesn't seem to have a lot of it. Oh, look at it just looming ominously in the darkness. Oh, I see, I see. They're showing you that, like, this is the normal range of a Master Grade, but then Master Grade Extreme takes one of those points, and it takes it to the extreme. I get it, I get it. That's th that's their whole gimmick. I, I see. It's, it's cool. It's really cool. I like it. So here's that video we already saw. We're not going to watch that again. Look at the bottom of the page when I scroll down. That's so cool. That's like some uh, that's like some Apple homepage shit right there. They really paid for the premium web page when they allocated their marketing budget to this kit. Look at that frame. Look at that freaking frame. We have never, never gotten a frame like this on a Strike Freedom before. Even the perfect grade model, the super fancy, supposedly best of the best perfect grade Strike Freedom does not have a fully plated frame. They only plate the parts of the frame that they think you're going to be able to see when the kit's put together. Problem is, there's bits of the frame that you can see that they didn't plate, and it's super, super annoying. But on this Strike Freedom, they plated everything. And not only do they plate everything, they plated it in so many different ways that it gives such a level of depth and life to the inner frame. This is an amazing model to display without the armor. There you can see the multiple layers of the frame again. Man, this is going to be a cool kit. This is also a model where you're probably definitely going to want to wear like some gloves or something while you're while you're building this so you don't get fingerprints all over that frame. Although if they're using like the Hyakushiki 2.0 type gold, that might not be as big of an issue. So funnily enough, the teaser site here doesn't actually let you see the Gundam in full. Like as you're scrolling down here, 
it shows you like a little bit of it, but you don't actually see the full image because it kind of only gets to like halfway across the screen before you scroll past it. I think I've seen some people rip the assets off this site though, and they did find like a full version of this image. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. But man, this thing is beautiful. What a beautiful freaking kit. Okay, so here's the version of that image that someone ripped off the website. As you can see, the armor on this looks phenomenal. It's got a ton of detail. I love that they just added such an extreme level of detail to it without completely destroying the kit's proportions. One of the things that really annoys me about some of the newer Seed Master Grades we've gotten is that they'll add extra detail and they'll kind of change the design a bit, but they'll also just go way too far in just screwing with the kit's proportions to the point where sometimes it doesn't even look like the original mobile suit anymore. This was a big issue I had with the Zaku Warrior, and it was a big issue I had with the Freedom 2.0. But man, did they absolutely nail it with this Strike Freedom. This is such a beautiful, beautiful looking model. Of course it's got decals. They're very fancy and cursive-y. I'm a big fan of very minimal decals. I don't like like the Vercom markings where you have those little like white uh, little white rectangles and red dots all over the kit. I think that looks kind of tacky. I really like to just see a couple emblems or a model number on the shoulder, maybe a faction symbol on the chest. That's really all I look for as far as decals go. So even if this kit comes with like some crazy big sheet of water slides or something, I'm probably just going to end up applying a few of them. And actually speaking of water slides, I don't know if the Master Grade Extreme Unicorn came with water slides or not. I know that's not a thing that they really do much with Master Grades anymore, but seeing as this is Master Grade Extreme, I would honestly hope they did. So yeah, really hope they include water slides with this, but if they don't, it's Bandai, so I'm not really surprised. Man, it's been a while since I've done an entire episode of Gunpla News about just one single kit, but I mean, you saw the video, guys. You saw the web page. This one kit 100% deserves a Gunpla News episode all of its own. What an incredible, incredible model. Obviously, it goes without saying, I'm getting my hands on one of these as soon as I possibly can. I know I still haven't reviewed the High New yet, I promise it's coming out later this month, and that is a real promise because I'm kind of sort of contractually obligated to release it later this month for reasons that you'll see when the video comes out. But man, this kit is something else. I am so excited. I have not been this excited for a new model kit release in a very long time. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're as hyped for the Strike Freedom as I am, please leave a like on this video. It helps it do better in the algorithm. And if you go ahead and subscribe for more Gunpla news and other Gunpla content, that'd be awesome as well. And as always, I'm Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.